Welcome to another episode of Darkening the Sun Radio, presented by Dream Nexus Podcast and Connector. I'm your host, Chris Abert, and I'm here with Sean from Aaron Cam and the One Drops. How you doing, Sean? Doing good, man. How's it going? It's going great. It's going great, man. Thank you. So uh, where, where are you at now? Uh, currently, um, I'm at home. Um, the band's not on the road at the moment. We're taking off on Friday. Um, heading down to Southern Illinois and then we'll be coming back up to do the darkening of the sun festival on Saturday. Yeah. You guys are playing at 8 PM on Saturday. Super excited for that set. Yeah, man. I'm stoked. Sounds like it's going to be a good time. Yep. Yep. So you guys have been doing quite a bit of traveling this summer. I take it. Yeah. Um, we're, we're trying to branch out. We, we kind of slowed down a little bit, um, in the spring and, um, we've uh yeah we've been just pretty much sticking around the midwest right now but you know we're we're still going out every week and playing different cities um it's actually been a while since we played in the st louis area so um actually darkening of the sun is going to be one of the closest shows to the st louis area that we've had in a couple in about a month or two so it's uh, kind of exciting nice yeah it'd be closer to home that's awesome so, yes, yeah, so speaking of how are you feeling about you guys set and what can we uh, maybe expect from you guys? Um, I'm stoked. We've been writing tons of new music, um, kind of a little bit more on our bluesy side because, you know, we always mix a little bit of bluesy stuff, kind of stomp and roadhouse blues. And then the next song will be a really mellow kind of chill, uh, you know, maybe reggae vibe. Um, we even dip into funk and Latin field and stuff like that too. So we'll be playing all that kind of stuff on Saturday. Definitely probably playing a couple of new songs that are not recorded yet. And, uh, we feel really good about them. So man, that's cool. That's great. I'm, I, I'm super excited for that. I, I love when you guys play new stuff at the shows and, and, uh, yeah, I've been, I've been seeing you guys for probably three years or so now. So I absolutely love your music and I will definitely be there for that one <laughs> for sure. Cool, man. Thank you. Awesome. Cool. So, uh, next question is what does the eclipse mean to you? Uh, I just think it's, it's, uh, it's pretty cool to be in the area and experience it because I know that, it doesn't happen very often, so it's a pretty, uh, you know, unique experience to be able to to catch that. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm I'm just grateful for that. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, me too. Obviously, yeah, it seems to be bringing a lot of people together, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, it, it's it's crazy. Like everybody has so many different takes on it and everything, but everybody knows it's it's going to kind of lower expectations out of the water i think it's we, we all don't really know what to think exactly <laughs> besides exactly yeah. yeah besides it's just it's a good time to reflect and uh really really look at yourself and your life and uh and you know at, at the festival it'll be great we'll get to you know get to do all that together so that is true yeah so are there any uh, any workshops that you've seen on there or, or anything that's uh at the festival that you're looking forward to besides uh Besides your set, or any, is, are there any other music sets you're looking forward to, or? Uh, you know, I I haven't uh, had a chance to to check out what's going on on Saturday. Um, I know just from seeing the lineup that it pretty much looked killer from the top to bottom. So I knew that I was no matter what's going on on Saturday, I'm going to catch something cool. Um, plus, knowing, uh, I'm sure mutual friends and acquaintances that we both have that are involved in running the festival. I just know that you kind of can't go wrong, uh, with, with what you'll get out of it, you know? So, um, yeah, but I, I don't really know what's going on. I got to check that out. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's tons of awesome stuff that's happening. I, I just interviewed my friend, Michael Delaney last night and he's the workshop coordinator and uh, yeah, if you, get, if you get a chance to take a look at any of those, there's a, a pretty extensive list of some really uh, amazing healing um, workshops and uh, practitioners and stuff like that. If you want to check that out, definitely worthwhile. If you're playing music pretty hard and kind of partying or whatever, it's, it's nice to kind of catch a break and get some healing. So 
for sure for sure yeah i'm stoked about that man yeah so uh one other question i had was what inspires you to play the music you do oh um really just um i kind of feel like i I was lucky in meeting uh aaron and andy um aaron who sings and plays guitar andy plays the bass um we all kind of just met each other kind of came together and uh ever since our first jam you know it it hit off really well and we haven't stopped playing since then um so just kind of like how we just have such a chemistry of playing together um usually comes pretty naturally and it gets a great response from everybody uh so just personally it's uh really rewarding in that aspect i love playing with those guys and um and playing for all of our fans and everyone that gets to see us um and you know just seeing that everyone's having such a good time to me that's that's the best thing i can experience in in life uh so it's, it's special to me that's that's beautiful man i can i can definitely attest to the uh the vibe you guys put out live it's it's definitely something else so i can only imagine steering that would feel pretty great so it's yeah. yeah and and uh aaron cam has he's he's very poetic um a lot of his lyrics are really deep and uh <clears throat> positive in in so many ways uh you know and and he's he really tries he i don't know um he knows how to to put things to where you know it it brings everyone together makes everyone feel good but it's not in like a cheesy kind of way yeah um so you know i'm lucky to to be part of that yeah i i agree that's that's one thing i've really really do love about his lyrics is that it's just so it's so authentic and so um yeah, it does exactly exactly what you say and just I don't know, it feels great and they are very well thought out. I've read a lot of his lyrics, um, very deep. So I definitely agree. So, uh, yeah, man, he's great. He's great. Yeah. I, I hope I get to, uh, get to sit down with you guys and do an interview at the festival too. That would be really awesome to get you guys all together and, uh, and, uh, spend some time. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's in the plans for sure. Great. Um, great. I know Haney's been talking with you and we got that all scheduled to make sure everyone's on board. So awesome. that should be cool. Awesome. Yeah. I, I had talked to him about it. So we'll, we'll follow through and make sure everything is, uh, it's going to go as planned. So sweet, sweet. Um, all right, let's, let's wrap it up here. So would you, uh, would you like, is there anything you'd like to say to your fans, friends and family at darkening the sun? Uh, just really excited about coming out, seeing everybody out there. Um, I know the music's going to be great. I'm excited to uh, hopefully discover some new things uh, as well as seeing, you know, familiar friends and faces. Um, yeah. You can, you can check out our music uh, at the one drops.com uh, or go uh, click us a like on the old Facebook page and keep an eye out for where we're coming out after uh, darkening of the sun. So thank you very much. Fantastic, man. Thank you so much for your time. And uh, I can't wait to see you guys play and get to hang out and get to do another interview with you. So uh, yeah, yeah I can't wait, then, man. So then take care, get there safe, and we'll be talking soon. Hey, brother. See you out there. All right. Thanks.